not much left on here, but I'm going to try. Now any time zoom. I'm glad Bruce Rock and others can get close up on the moon too. Our church member Bruce Rock, oh. fireman. Jason Smith did a good message on Daniel No. Ryan's town. True story. Lenny wouldn't show his face anymore. I talked to Jeremy Green and he said, Lenny, he said you confessed voluntarily. Maybe I realized that my conscience was bothering me more than I thought it was. That ain't it. Yeah, it is. So let's go, Frank. What's this? The news, May 3rd, 1988. You made page four. You pulled a woman from a burning building in Queens at the same time and in a different borough from where you said you were meeting with no Serena. So I screwed up a day. Yeah. We also found about a half a dozen other similar discrepancies. Are you telling me you remember the exact time and place of every move you made 30 years ago? Give me a break. If I was going to go on the record with it, I'd sure want Well, you're not. So let it be. Cut the crap. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> Only you could make a nice table and a nice restaurant feel like the hot seat in a precinct house. Honey, talk to me. I ain't talking to you, Frank. Let it be. Let it go. Please. Sorry, our luxury suite was unavailable. Can we get you a cup of coffee or something? Coffee would be great, thanks. Actually, sorry, do you have um, do you have almond milk? I'll see what I can find. So why am I here, detective? Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Look, I appreciate you volunteering to come down. You seem like a nice guy, so I'm going to be very honest with you. We think that the drugs Danielle had were poisoned. Poison like somebody murdered her? Yeah. Now, we also know that you were involved in the sale of Danielle's artwork to uh, Milton Vance. I've known since I was a kid. He and my dad are on the board of the Met together. So you should also know, then, that whoever owns that artwork stands to make a, a lot of money, especially now that she's dead. Okay, I, I hate to play this card, but, like, money's the one thing I don't need. All right. Trust me, I know that. I was wondering if you could help us figure out who might need the money. And who might have a motive? I mean, I'm going to figure it out. Actually, we have this friend, Caroline. She works at the gallery. She's an aspiring artist. She's really been struggling to get by. We met Caroline. She, uh, ironically, was partying with Danielle the night she was poisoned. 